Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we will be doing with Chapter 7, Manufacturing Industries. We will be dealing with Part 2. In our previous class, we've been discussing about the various type of industries based on raw material, based on um, ownership, based on size. Okay, today we'll be learning about the industrial system. Okay, so in an industrial system, okay, the things which are imported are inputs. Okay, inputs, processes, and outputs. Okay, so what are basically these three things? Okay, inputs, processes, and output. Okay, okay, we'll learn one by one. Okay, so inputs, okay, in an industry, it means the money, money, labor, the work done. Okay, you need huge amount of money in order to set up an industry. You need money to buy machines. You need money to buy the raw materials. You need money to pay the workers. Okay, and also in an industry, you need laborers. Okay, these people are the ones who will be working in the industry in order to make the fine products. Okay, next we have the raw materials. If we don't have any raw materials, then how are we going to make the industry? How are we going to make the finished products? Okay, so raw materials is very much needed. Okay, so these things comes under input. Okay, next is processes. Okay, so in an industry, what you need is assembly, maintenance, packaging, and transport. Okay, in simpler, in simple terms, okay, once the raw material has been brought in an industry, okay, we will make a fine product out of it. You bring raw cotton to an industry, okay, and after that it will be made into woven clothes, okay. Once it is made into woven clothes, what will happen? It is manufactured, right? So what will you do? You will pack it in. Uh, uh, you will pack it nicely, okay. And after that, you will load it in a uh, truck, okay. And then you will transport it to the market, okay. That will all come under process, okay. Making the final products, packaging them, okay, packing them, and then sending off to their final destination. And lastly, we have the output, okay. That is the final finished product okay and the income after you sell those products okay what you will do is once the things are processed in the industry it will be sent off to the market with trucks okay so what you will do is once it reaches the market it will be sold off okay so the profit that you get out of it okay from the products that you sold will be the output in the industrial system Okay, so these three, these three factors are very important in industry. That is the input, processes, and output. Okay. Okay, moving on. Okay, we have various industrial regions all over the world. Okay, all over the world, and we will look into it one by one. Okay, so these are the places around the world where most of the industries are located okay so these are the great lakes in the eastern north america okay north sea in western and central europe eastern europe in around moscow in russia eastern asia including japan China and South Korea okay so these are the major industrial cities or areas around the world okay some of the industrial unit in India okay are also located in this portion you can just check it out in your textbook also there's a map given okay so number one okay in India that is the Hooghly industrial region Mumbai Pune industrial region the Ahmedabad Badora industrial region number four is the Madurai Coimbatore Bengaluru industrial region fifth is the Chotanagpur Plateau industrial region and the sixth will be the national capital territory industrial region okay so these are the dark shaded areas are the industries where you will find in India okay moving on okay so we have the distribution of major industries there is a distribution between industries okay so in our textbook it is given as the iron and steel industry cotton textile industry and the information technology 
industry okay so we'll be looking into it one by one okay the first is the iron and steel industry okay so this iron and steel industries are like the backbone of all industries located around the world okay because iron and steel is the considered is also considered as the basic industry because these are like the foundation pillars of everything okay we use iron pillars for construction of houses for making cars for making industries for making products through iron and steel okay so because of which they are considered as the basic industry okay and and okay and uh, this iron and steel okay this iron and steel are used as raw materials for other industries okay for many making their finished goods okay so that's why it is considered as a feeder industry which provides raw material to other industries and also okay iron and steel industries are called as heavy industry because they use heavy and bulky uh, raw materials such as iron ore okay and coal okay which are also uh, are used in large quantity in order to make and produce okay uh, iron and steel okay and these iron and steel okay have played a major role in the progress of the modern civilization okay because today we are using iron and steel in our day to day life from basic amenities okay to large things okay so they are considered okay as the crucial object in our day to day life okay next okay so iron and steel has been used okay for many uh, other things okay for making cars for making uh, the basic uh, utilities that we use in our day-to-day -day life okay as well as for uh, containers okay for cooking cooking utensils okay these are all made okay by steel or uh, by steel and iron okay so they are very very essential uh, items okay so the inputs of these iron and steel industries are okay they use raw materials such as iron ore okay coal limestone as well as magnesium okay and also they need huge amount of money and infrastructure clear in order to make this iron and steel okay the basic raw materials are okay they are the iron ore okay coal limestone magnesium okay whereas we need capital we need money in order to employ people we need money to start up the industry okay so money is also an important factor as well as the industry where this process will take place should also be there okay so these are the inputs of iron and steel next we have the process here okay iron and iron ore okay once the raw material has been brought it will be processed okay or it will be refined in a blast furnace okay you can just see in the picture out here this is the picture of the blast furnace where iron and steel is refined in order to make a fine product out of it okay and here the output obtained from it are the iron and steel okay once it is been refined in the blast furnace okay the final output would be in terms of iron and steel which we use in our day-to-day -day life okay molten iron okay which has been separated from the iron ore okay is either like cool okay or molded into what can be called as the pig iron and with the course of industrial revolution which happened uh, which started off in england okay made to the production of iron and steel at large and industries which manufactured iron and industries came up at large because of the industrial revolution okay because many machines were being made in order to make different objects or maybe different 
products okay because of which okay iron and steel was in great demand and with which it led to the starting up of many iron and steel industries okay so many countries have developed its iron and steel mills okay and uh, you can find in US okay it has a number of steel producing regions okay like regions of Alabama okay Pittsburgh Lake Erie region and the mid-atlantic states okay in European countries okay where iron and steel are being manufactured are in UK okay Germany Sweden France Italy Poland, Belgium, and Austria, okay? And in Asia, you will find uh, countries like China, Japan, and India, okay? In developing in the iron and steel industries, okay? And you will also find other countries like Australia, Brazil, Colombia, Venezuela, Chile, Algeria, Egypt, Zimbabwe, and South Africa, which are producing iron and steel, okay? And uh, next, okay, in India, the regions where iron and steel is being manufactured or iron and steel industries are located are in Jamshedpur, okay, Bilai, Durgapur, Badrati, and Salim. Okay, these are the locations where iron and steel industries are there in India. Okay, 